Sign up today. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growl. What a problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 114, NASDAQ up 65, S&P's up 6.5, gold up $6, trading 18.36 an ounce. We got silver flat, $24.06 an ounce. Light sweet crude, also flat, $45.20 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year right now, up 6 ticks, trading 137.20. Now, the 10-year, folks, rejected lower price yesterday, had lighter volume. Bottom line is building costs for higher price once again. 30-year, did it this morning, up 21 ticks, 172.26, and King Dollar. This is a straight line move down to 88, folks. You're down 533, uh, half a penny, 90.845. The euro is at 121, the yen is at 103.76, and the British pound is at 134 to 1 US dollar. Tom O'Brien, what's going on? Where do we start? Initial jobless claims, uh, but guess what? We'll start with Tesla. Why not up 3.3 percent? Did you see the price tag that Goldman Sachs put on that man? Seven, seven eighty something. Um, amazing uh, that stock. Just fun to watch what's going on from the sidelines, at least. We are all going to get a lesson on the Tesla deal, folks. Coming up to this uh, December 18th, uh, and December 18th is quad witching. So. It is going to be uh, a lesson in an extraordinary way. And we talk about lessons, and we talk about options, folks. You're talking about defined risk. We got our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks, uh, every trading day right here, folks, okay? You want to understand the option market, option strategies, futures, outstanding program. You're sitting right on the website. If you haven't test-driven yet, the Thinkorswim platform, so easy to do. Hit the banner, bring it up. Allow you to trade with paper money. You can follow Kevin and his team every trading day. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. You know, part of this day, you know, earnings season is always really interesting because we have a number, a very macroeconomic number coming out tomorrow morning. And so the market, from a macro perspective, is a little bit neutral, right? It's a little bit hesitant to go forward. But the micro stories, the microeconomic stories, the individual stock stories that make up this market are firing right now on all cylinders. There is some crazy trade going on in some of these names. So Tommy just mentioned Tesla. You know, some of these stocks yesterday, Salesforce, even today, Boeing is flying yeah. this morning based on, uh, on uh, you know, a plane in the air yesterday, a 737 MAX, and an order from Ryanair today. So there's a lot of things going on here. All microeconomic stories, though. The macro, we'll wait for tomorrow for the number one data point of the week, guys. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry, of the month. And, you know, that order from Ryanair, folks, is a monster, man. Uh, and... You know, it's, it could be, a, I suspect it's a, it's, a, it's a start in, of course, the right direction. Because right. The, the bottom line, that, the, the, that has been, you know, that airline, folks, years ago, they never thought that anyone could break into British Air. And Ryanair was one of the first ones, and they just destroyed British Air. It was 75 planes in addition to bring it to 210 yeah. planes, man. That is just yeah. a big yeah. leap. And, and in all honesty... Because I've been trading Boeing the whole move through this, I can tell you that Ryanair CEO, number one, is aggressive. Yes. And number two, he never wavered on his commitment to, to the 737 MAX. He, he was saying that he wasn't happy that the planes were delayed and he wasn't happy with the situation, but he never wavered on his commitment to that plane as being their future. And so he's, you know... The, the real question, if you're, if you're trading Boeing or looking at it, is does this start a avalanche of right. orders from people saying, all right, this guy's doing well. All right, we, we got to get in there and, and get played. You break a huge point up, Kevin, because the only reason I understand it is that when I was in that business in 1980, British Air was the king. 
And that was the first guy that thought he could take down the king. And he did. That's the bottom yeah. line, you know. Uh, and he did it, folks, on good service and very inexpensive airfares, you know. Right. Um, kind of a Southwest business model. Yes. Yes. In, in, a, in a huge right. way. Now, what's really intriguing out here today, too, is that, you know, we still get jobless claims that, you know, it was a little less than expected. But the bottom line, you had big jobless claims and the market still just shook it off. So, right. you know, I, I mean, this is where I think that, you know, the market really is looking forward, man, because if you read the news this morning, whether it's Los Angeles getting locked down, I'm trying to figure out myself. I have a hard time comprehending in my head, Kevin, that, OK, you still got cities that are getting locked down. Yet the market is still going. And we know that, you know, Main Street of all our cities, you know, the, those those smaller businesses are hurting. And it's like, OK, are we in such a new dynamic that, you know, other businesses are going to basically fill them in, which, you know, I'd hate right. to be in that position. But, man, it, it, something's going on. Either that or well, we're in an inflationary era. I mean, I, I'm looking at very, that, too. It's a very interesting time because you've got the overall spike in cases. Yes. But you've also got that light at the end of the tunnel that seems to be getting closer as you know, headlines are United's getting planes ready to ship this vaccine around the country and around the world. So people see the one net short term negative and a light at the end of the tunnel. So it's it's tricky. You're right. It's very tricky right yeah. now to, to trade it's these markets. I was thinking about it. It's a time like no other. Bloomberg had a great article today out at just about uh, the U.S. where they'll possibly reach 60 to 70 percent vaccination levels, as in having that many doses at least. And you're talking about potentially May in the U.S., um, which it is such a dichotomy, though. All the headlines, right? We reached 100,000 people for hospitalization yesterday, but the market forward looking probably, that's my guess, you know, as in it's just remarkable. We're in such a harsh position right now, but like you said, the light is there at the end of the tunnel, yeah. and five months, six months into the future could be a very different story, which the market's trying to balance all of that, that woe of the current situation versus the pretty expected norm that we may reach in the next six to nine months, which is remarkable. I, I can I see people, I mean, I think the breakout is going to be extraordinary, and the I breakout agree. will probably be extraordinary if people buying stocks also. Because you know what we have, Kevin, too, is that there's a whole new generation that we have here. So this is like uh, you and I, you know, starting in 1980, 85. Do you know what I'm saying? So right. if that's happening, folks, okay, the bottom line is that I know markets are high, but guess what? You get another, you know, 30 million people inside the marketplace, uh, things can go higher. <laughs> right. And, and even though a lot of these stocks are at crazy valuations and highs, a lot of them, like in the cruise lines and the airlines and the banks, there's a lot of stocks, a lot of sectors that are still way off their highs from where they were. Now, will they get there? No. Some of these companies are going to be different. They're going to have more debt. They're not going to look the same as they did pre-pandemic, but they're going to be in business. They're going to get a shot to, to recover, and that's, that's big. And, folks... As we're all talking here, guess what? We're all in the, in the probability business. You want to understand defined risk, strategies, options, outstanding program every trading day right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. Have a great weekend, and we look forward to speaking to next Tuesday. Always a pleasure, guys. Thanks for having me on. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 112. NASDAQ is up 73. S&P is up 7.5. Come right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. 
Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Well, welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are up at 131. You get the Nasdaq up 79. S&Ps are up nine and a half. And uh, natural gas, Tom. I believe we're going to have natural gas, right? We sure are. So I don't know if the market's even going to react to it because it's reacting to something already that seems like a pretty big driving force from yesterday's action, right? From early yesterday, man, I had to you know, wipe my eyes away to make sure I was looking at the right chart. Wow. Just 9 a.m. yesterday, you were basically 295. And you drop 40 pennies, and it hasn't stopped, man, um, in, and, that, in that future. Crazy. And 40 pennies, folks, is $4,000 a contract. <laughs> and what's the, let me pull up your screen, what's the initial um, the margin requirement? Is because this is where 3, it gets pretty cool. There you go. 3400 um, if you were uh, if you were long you got a call to either add more money or or, yeah. or liquidate that position they shut man. you right down holy yep. cow look at this thing man that's 40 cents it's just like so that's why i say i mean um unless there's something staggering usually when you see this type of action right the inventory numbers on natural gas aren't going to move this too dramatically when you have this type of buying or selling coming in prior to that number already and I don't know what what is what, what so this is uh, this is why they call natural ah, gas the go. widow maker, folks. Okay, okay? the spreads, what, yeah. the spreads. This is it, it's not just a buy or sell; it's the spread. So the spread just went negative yesterday. In the last two blowups that we've seen, like in the last fifteen years, this is what happened. And then sure. all of a sudden, you heard about a was, week later, that's it. It was wipeout city. Um, wow. And was man. it last year already? Yeah, it was. It was. Was it last year that it shot up? When is that? No, November of 2018 was the last time there was that huge max pain with a spike to $4, I think, out of the blue. Yeah, um, so, you know, the, the headlines here is saying uh, the closely watched U.S. National, ga natural gas price spread flipped to negative Thursday, signaling that traders are already close to giving up on the prospect of a cold winter. Gas for January delivery is now trading below February prices, a first for the 2021 contracts. January futures tumbled 7% on Thursday, the worst performance among commodities. What a trip, man. Holy cow. It's, well, we'll yeah, see. Yeah, and well, I, you know, we're lucky in Florida, man. We don't have to worry about 
natural gas winterizing right now we're i mean what what is it when we woke up i know you think it's 70 degrees no matter what the temperature is out man but it's been 50 degrees or so i have my window open right now in my home office which is beautiful man just because it's nice enough little cool crisp air um but across the country i mean i've been hearing in boston uh, i think in boston it was warmer than it was in florida within the last day or two really um, as we yeah as we have they got a day of maybe 50 55 as we snuck into the 40s so maybe that's the type of weather that they're hitting uh, across wow. the country that's so what are they looking for for the inventories coming up at 10 30. um it looks like the the survey number is minus 16 bcf okay. the whisper number is minus eight okay so looking for a decline in inventories nonetheless somewhere between eight bcf and 16 bcf what do you want to go for well, let's see. So natural gas is getting destroyed. That would that mean that would mean <laughs> that the the market is saying that there's going to be more natural gas. There's not going to be much as uh, drawdown, right? Yep. yep. So that would mean that there would be uh, more in the supplies. So the, the the negative number would not be so great, or it could even shift to a positive number Maybe outside we'll go of plus whatever two. else is. How about that? What'd you say? Sorry. Plus two. Sure. Go for it. Why not? Right. I like it. Yeah, I mean, something's going on here. Someone totally, knows something, totally. man. That's, that's the exact. I like how we walk it through, right? Everybody yeah. has their biases. Um, but if you're just going off and listen, the, those commodities is a supply and demand driven business. It's right. as simple as that, right? Yeah. And, and so whether it's already happened or it's factoring in what's going to happen in the future, you know, it's it's it, it doesn't skew that far because they're actual goods that are used as opposed to just a, a share value of a piece of paper that somehow creates Elon Musk as the richest man in the world. <laughs> well, yeah. And let's go over to this because the, quickly. Wait to see this, folks. OK, this is a mind blower that Chanos is actually still shot this. Not as is much. He? I saw the yeah. headline that he said he would say something I, like I nice work here it is there right here, man. This is like crazy. Uh, James, uh, you know, Jim Chanos has yeah. been shot a Tesla stock for five long years. And although he's reduced the size of the trade, he's not done with it yet. Now, there's one cool thing in here. L listen to this, okay? Um, the first four years, he said, wasn't such a bad shot. The electric car maker stock wasn't uh, trouncing the market. The last 12 months, that's a different story. Tesla's up 700%. Now, watch this, though. This is, this is really wild. Okay, let's get down here. What, he's, what Chanos is saying that... The profitability, uh, it's been painful, clearly, Chano said on Bloomberg this morning, front row interview. Now, let me just get this. Uh, the famed shot seller continues to take issue with Tesla's business model and valuation. Here's his quote. It's whatever people want to believe Elon Musk is touting, said Chano's pointing to Tesla's five straight quarters of profit. Now, here it is. Uh, due to sales of regulatory credits rather okay. than cars. Very cool. Yeah. Tesla trades at 900 times trailing earnings and about 150 times estimated earnings in next year. Um, I've never met Elon Musk, said yeah. Chanos. I've never had a conversation with him. If I were to meet him, I'd say, job well done so far. <laughs> Kudos to him. What else can you say, uh, right? <laughs> totally. Now, that's the number right there, good. though. This is the thing that is, yes. is intriguing, is that it's due to sales of regulatory credits. Than cars. And that's just for profitability, but I had not heard that at all. Yeah. Uh, um, and I know that those play into things, but in terms of how it actually got to that classification, so important to, to it, entering the, the S&P 500. It right? is. No, it, it definitely is. So it looks like I just, just from Googling, I saw there's an article on, on Car and Driver, July 22nd of this year, said yeah. other automakers paid Tesla a record $420 million uh last quarter i think for their regulatory credits so wow. it's going on the car makers got to be under those levels right but you can buy and sell them to get there yeah of course that incentivizes getting there yourself so you don't have to be paying straight cash um yes during the second quarter of this year so out of july 22nd they got 428 million um that was on in addition to 354 million for the prior quarter so i'm sure that number even built up from it's almost there a billion they, dollars man yeah yeah that's intriguing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It is. It is. And I did this. That's part of the business model, though, man. And that's why you incentivize through government regulations, you know. Um, yeah. Wow. Emissions to, to incentivize those cars. And that's why you're seeing these. Not only is it incentivized for regular car companies to start producing electric vehicles to compete, you have to have a certain v fleet, you know, portion of your fleet 
that are electric to offset the gas numbers to get under the regulatory numbers is my perception of how things work out. Yeah, no, and and there's nothing like credits for anything, folks. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know, that there's always been, because it's never really transparent, you know, to most of the investors and our citizens. That's what it really comes down to. I mean, there's, there's plenty of firms that they specialize in, in basically credits, because a credit, whether you're talking a tax credit, in this case, you know, it's it's real cash, okay? It's basically an asset. Period, it's a huge right? asset. It's, it's a yeah, huge exactly. asset. And it just yeah. depends on who needs it and what kind of deal totally. you can make, you know, when you're selling it. That's what it really comes yeah. down to. And yep. we know Musk. Musk makes good deals, man. <laughs> so far, so good, yeah. that's for sure. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up a buck twenty-five. Nasdaq a baby. S and P's up ten. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 125. You get the Nasdaq up 71. S&Ps are up 8.5. And, and let's see what we go uh, with this natural gas, baby. So let's see what we get here. Oh, look at that. Uh, they, ah, that was pretty close. Yeah. They. What'd you put, a rise of two? Yeah. 
And so you're three BCFs off. Not bad. It's a, a minus six. It's a fall uh, of minus one. Eight to, right. Yeah. Right. Let's see. No, no winners. Okay. I was just seeing if we did anything there. Well, it might. They haven't sent it yet because you'll be top ten or something, I bet, with that. So you'll get some kind of email. Normally, it's pretty quick, though. It is. Yeah. Where's that message? Where is it? It should be blinking. I know. <laughs> uh, no, no real reaction out of the gate on that man. Looking at it, we're trading at two fifty-five. Uh, slight bid, you could say, on that number, but pretty, pretty, pretty near the bottom of the range and where natural gas has been. Pretty amazing, man. So let yeah. me let me pull over here. So uh, yeah, platinum's platinum's on the run, man. Okay, this is going to get interesting. So P L A T platinum active contract. You're up. There it is, man. Ah, this is. I knew I should have bought more. Unbelievable. Um, okay, so yeah, Platinum's on the run, man. Platinum wants to break this uh, 1,036. We're at 1,036 right now. So you've, this will, this will get, the, this, I, I suspect this is the, the, the hydrogen deal that I was talking about a couple of days ago, man. I think this is that, that people are saying, okay, man, maybe this hydrogen deal will really basically take off, man. And if it does, what ends up happening is that the, you got to use a lot of platinum in that deal, uh, you know. So outside of the aspect of having a precious metal, when you when you can have to use it in industrial, also, folks, it's a whole different ball game. And what has happened in, in the mining business in general, uh, because these mines are you know so tight, these mines have shut down all over the place, particularly in South Africa. You know, because South African mines. Could you imagine going down three miles <laughs> in the earth? No. No, yeah. <laughs> seriously, man. <laughs> yeah, and that's what you're talking. You, you know, they they get. I think some of the Harmony mines actually get on like seven or eight miles. It's it's like it's it's some outrageous number, man. I, yeah. I it's hard to even comprehend of like how how would that work? Like, you know, I know when growing up, and you'd know this, you know, Tom, from where I lived to Castle Island was three and a half miles, and that's a long way, folks. I used to walk my dog there every day and have him swim back. Nice. It's like, that's three and a half miles, man. That's, you know, that's eight miles, man. Forget it. It's huge. No, right. Exactly. Underground. Yeah. Hey, un I'm going to jump around a, a little bit. All right. I found this yeah. cool article today uh, talking about Groupon from the Chicago Tribune out there. Groupon, a Chicago company. Ten years ago today, just kind of a lesson in valuations. They turned down six billion dollars from from Google. Um, an offer you're talking about in 2010. And that company, as of today, worth less than $1 billion. I'm surprised they're actually still at near a billion dollars. And, um, and you know what's amazing? So check this out, folks. Think or swim. Where Think or swim is, that's where Groupon is. Exact okay. same building. Exact same they building. I don't know if they're still tear there. down the office space that they've been using probably <laughs> yeah, uh, over seriously, that time. Because they just split 20 for one, I believe, when they were trading it under a dollar. Um, earlier this year. So the chart, you know, they spiked to 622 technically, almost 20 times the valuation they're at right now. Uh, the article states they got off, they got off, they got it off, as in they got the uh, IPO release with a valuation of about $16 oh. billion. Dollars. One six is what they made it out. So uh, what a huge they, mistake, huh? Yeah, it was. First trading day, they ended the first trading day day at 16.6 .6 billion but less than two weeks after the after the debut shares tumble it's been a bumpy ride ever since i bought plenty of groupons in the early days man and i had plenty of them go to waste which is why i probably will never buy one ever again um which <laughs> yeah. is what a lot of people figured out i think um, I, I, there's, there's no doubt way. yeah let's go to mark and four collins we're going to be talking natural gas watch out let's do mark, it. what's going on brother hey checking in on this uh natural gas getting tanked I'm looking at the UNG. Um, wanted to know how it kind of how it compared to the contract because I don't I don't really have access to, to the gas contracts. But on the UNG, it's coming in pretty heavy into a low from last June. Yeah, it is. So let's awesome. like let's, let's let's figure out first. Okay, so the UNG, the fund's objective is to of changes in percentage terms of the unit's net asset value reflect changes in the price of the natural gas delivered to Henry Hub, Louisiana. Measure of the change percentages. I just want to see if there's more than, okay, like how many contracts are in here. So you got a January futures contract, 52%, Q2 
cash is 2%. Okay, so it looks like they, they're trading the January contract. Okay, so now let's go to NG. I, what I'm going to do here, folks, is I'm going to put up the generic contract because what we're looking at is that we want to know is that is it coming into that last low and is it rejecting it? Oh, I see what's happening here. Interesting. So, yeah, I wouldn't touch this, Mark. Look at this it's gap. In it's coming in heavy on the UNG. It, it is. Like and break, breaking a weekly swing with volume. About right. And, volume. and look what you have here, man. I mean, evidently this went exponential. What's that? September. You know, it's too close to that. The bottom of that is 249. We're 255. You know, most times when you see something like this, it'll fill that whole gap, man. There's a gap there which you normally don't see. So now well, let me go to the UNG. The UNG will have a lot of gaps, folks. Now, th this is where you can understand what is trading off what, because gas trades almost 24 hours a day, where the UNG only trades, you know, 9:30 to 4:30 in the afternoon. So you get the UNG coming after you get a high volume low at 8, 8.89. You're at 9.28. I mean, I'd wait for it to at least get down there. Let me pull this back in the year and let's see if there's what's underneath that. Yeah, I'd say that's where it's going, man. I'd wait but for that you, test. If you put it on a weekly, it's breaking the swing, and if that's an ABC down, it's going to go way under. So I don't know what you're... Oh, look, oh, I see what you're looking at. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, this could be a disaster. What is that one there? That's... Oh, yeah, that's that's insane. $22 to 8 to 9. Let's say 9. You get, what, 13... That, if that's an ABC down, this is pretty sick. That would be saying that this thing could go to like a dollar fifty or something. <laughs> yeah. Y y your wife wants a husband, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. And I have plenty of gas on my own, so we're all good. Seriously, man. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. I would, I would, I, I would hang in there um, for. I wouldn't touch that thing, man. You know. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I was also looking at some of the, like if you look at Boyle, which I don't know what that is. I think it tracks. Oh, it's two x natural gas. That thing's already broken. Is it? Is it O I L or B O I L B Boyle? B. Say that again. B O I L Boyle, like boiling. Water. Oh, Boyle! I got it. I got it. Cooking, brother. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's a Thanks, disaster. Mike. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now. They are trading up, uh, let's see, 148. NASDAQ is up 62. S&Ps are up 10. We'll come right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. 
Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 159. Nasdaq's up 61. S&Ps are up 11. And, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you are going to see right under featured content. Uh, first off, we get our man, Mr. Larry Pesavento. He is going to be doing a live webinar, uh, trading, a live trading webinar. This is going to be next Wednesday, uh, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And uh, the total cost, folks, is only $295. You get all day with Larry, live trading. You also get his newsletter for a full month, 24 by 7. Great newsletter. Uh, and any of the folks that have taken this this year uh, can get in this, uh, will get in this for free. Uh, the You had sent all those links out yesterday, Tom, right? Yes. So we had announced it. We emailed anybody who attended one of Larry's two prior classes for his five-hour live trading uh, live methodology webinars. So all of those attendees, a good amount of people, they'll be able to attend this one coming up, as you said, next Wednesday uh, for free. You, they'll see that link to enter the room, uh, appear on their page within a couple days of the webinar taking place on Wednesday. Cool part about that is you'll have a great community of traders out there uh, in the room as it's going on live, five hours asking questions, bouncing ideas off of Larry. Uh, they're excited. We got a lot of great feedback from those attendees already last night saying that they're excited for Larry's class on Wednesday. And yeah, you can get in. I encourage people to sign up now. You gain access to the newsletter. You can start checking that out over the weekend. Larry always puts together. He talked about it in his program this morning. He's going to be doing a lot of work on the futures. He's got some gold action. Just had a great gold trade going on out there. Um, and he always puts it together a really comprehensive letter over the weekends. Yes. And then, you know, videos, charts all week long, man, 24-7, as the title says. I like how so he that, does those live videos. They're very easy they, to listen to. Yeah. You can say a lot with a video um, as opposed to having to use charts and, and typing, right? So Larry does some great five-minute videos, seven-minute videos, and, and he says a lot, man. It's, it's awesome. Hey, did you know on the Bloomberg News that, that we get that it, it, it can talk to you versus – just reading it. You know what's so funny, man? I did that for the first time two hours ago. How crazy is that? That you won't. <laughs> you must have been How picking crazy. it off my mind. This would end up happening, folks. This Bloomberg, like I have a Bloomberg, but you can get Bloomberg News. I forget, and it's really worth it, man. I mean, if you're in the it's market, a, it's expensive in yeah. terms of expensive, right? But right. it's cheap in terms of the value. Um, it, it I is. I think they have deals going on always. You can sign up for a year for about three hundred bucks if you're in the market for real news, man. They do right. a great job. And you can even get two years for like four or five hundred. Right. Yeah, I did the same thing. So I'm on my phone this morning and I always see that, you know, um, click here to hear this story in audio or yeah. something. And I'm doing multiple things. I put my phone down, hit speakerphone, hit it. And uh, of course, they play an ad first. So they love you to, to hit that button. Um, but then, yeah, it just were like a speech to text. And I used it this morning. How funny is that? Right. So this is a pretty cool feature because I'm I put it down and then I'm looking at stock charts while I'm listening to it. Is I, it what I was doing? Oh, I know. No, it, it, it's awesome. And the yeah. only reason I know in the office yesterday, 
I hear Besvid is hitting it. I says, man, what is that? Uh, why is that talking to you? He says, man, he says, I can't believe you don't know this. <laughs> Isn't that funny, though, that it I is. just did it within two hours ago for the first time ever, probably, on, and on Bloomberg, not even just any that, article? Because no. more services are offering that type of service. Um, because it's not a physical person. It sounds like a computer program, folks, just auto-reading, you know, that type of computer-generated voice. They're just going through the text. So I think you'll see that becoming more apparent because it's probably just some kind of app that you add on to your service um, yes. on the Internet. Yes. You know, any voice, just read this text, and uh, computers can do it. you got to love it. And yeah. at, now, uh, we'll switch, switch gears on you again, folks, okay? But uh, coming over to TFNN, uh, the Taz Profile Scanner. Now, if you've never used this profile scanner, folks, okay, trust me, go try it out, man. Uh, you know, uh, they just upgraded I, it. They didn't even need to upgrade it. That's the bottom. I have a, they don't, you know, and they, they added a, a couple new cool features, but this thing is just intense from the get-go, man. I have my scanner up here. You know, this is, I believe, the dashboard that we're in now. Yep. Yeah, so you're in the dashboard now. The home screen, you begin here. You got your, your heat grids, right? You check out the ETFs. I mean, look at this. So what this is giving you is weekly, daily, 240 minute yeah. and 60 minute across the board. You want to talk about energy, materials, healthcare, industrials. They're telling you where we are from market profile. And then of course, as you really go down the dashboard, right? You can, you know, whether you're looking for in the matrix, you start selecting where you're just looking out breakouts, breakdowns. And one of the coolest parts, man, they have Apple up here, right? Is that it tells you exactly what these profiles are meaning. For instance, Apple up here, long-term view, weekly close above 118.44, very positive for the long-term uptrend, should be considered a breakout pattern, be on the lookout for a new weekly profiles. This is simply that, you know, and so I'm not gonna spend, you know, you could go over, but intermediate term, trends favorable for, That's right. for longs. Um, pretty cool how it breaks down all these. You can break this down in terms of where you want to, to scan the market. So and, I encourage and people to. What's cool, folks, if you are an intraday, intraday trader, this is like a freaking must, okay? Because what he has in here is that, so picture, you know, you, you can say that, let's say out of the S&P 500, you get the 500 stocks, right? You can say that, okay, there's, you know, 300 going up, 200 going down. That's one thing. The way that he has this set up, he has how many are over the profiles in the middle of the profiles and under the profiles. So intraday, when you get used to this thing, you know when markets are turning. And it starts clicking down. Once you get used to it, you know, you, you'd want to get used to it for a bit so you can really get, get, a, get a clue. But I'm telling you, man, it is so powerful, it's insane. And if you go against it, well, that's your problem. <laughs> because the, the bottom line is that when these things turn, they start edging, the bottom line is that they accelerate. You know, so check it out, man. And as, I mean, it is yeah, really a listen, Steve. I was just going to say Steve was on the show yesterday and uh, he just did a great job. Market profiles, man. Um, you know, you can never say the market's wrong. Right. As in where supply equals demand. Yep. That's the price of anything. And what market profiles do is they tell you where the most volume is occurring. Right. You know, um, the point of control is one of the, you know, that's where a big the deal. The point of control in place. E exactly. Yeah. And as as you know. Um, technicians, traders, that's that's something that, that I like to pay attention to, man. Oh. Um, because and it's a very always... clean program. Exactly. And it, There's it's... no bias to telling you, um, this is where most of the volume's taking place on a monthly, right. and then what does it do? It says, you know, and there's your expected move, deviations, statistics. Right. I like statistics, I like math, I like numbers, man. And there's a lot of math, numbers, statistics um, in this program, which is why I love it, in terms mm -hmm. of probabilities, right? I know, man. And because yeah. if you keep your head out of the, the fundamental aspect of it, particularly, <laughs> you're 10 times better off, man. Because Right now, man, I mean, it's crazy. But So you can save $100 off. It's normally $197 a month. Um, it's a professional platform, man. You can manage millions of dollars. So it's like $197 oh, yeah. a month. You can save $100, so it's $97, and it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Try it out for the whole month of December, yeah. even longer. Within 30 days, you can cancel. You get that money back. So it's a great time. Try it out. And I think... You and Steve were talking about maybe you'll do a webinar next month sometime. Yeah, kick off January. And and there there is there's some good lessons on there, folks. Right right on the page. So you you get what, a, so you, that, that's a great segue. You say it. So click on the the banner on the front page, folks. And what it'll bring you to is when you're at the order page, here right here. Click here to see the educational videos. Yeah. Okay. You, you click there, and that's what you're talking about. There's plenty to give you a quick glimpse right. of all of these videos from Mr. Steve Dahl. So check that out for yeah. sure.
Dow. Dow Industrials up 174. Nasdaq up 60. S&P's up 10. Tommy and I come right back. Back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that will take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the Newsletter tab. Bam! Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the market, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 173. Nasdaq's up 66. S&Ps are up 10. Um, you know, the market, uh, well, that uh, it's all-time highs. No doubt about that, man. Right. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, we'll see where this, uh, you know, can, can get any traction. You know, I mean, it's, you, you definitely, you got a contraction of volume yesterday in a big way inside the NDX. So it's going to be intriguing to see what ends up happening there. But right now, you are at highs, no doubt. Yeah, the market chugs on, man. We're getting some action even in the FANG stocks. Like Microsoft was bouncing around in both directions by a dollar already. You had some volatility um, on micro, on, yeah. excuse me, Apple down a little bit. But this, you know, even Amazon shares moving twenty, thirty dollars. So market's positive, but we'll see. As you know, when we we're talking to Kevin, this move in Boeing's not stopping, man. Up six point seven percent, up to like two thirty nine on Boeing and the airlines. Oh, look up at that. Four percent for Delta. Yeah. Um, cruise lines up six percent, like Kevin was saying. And even, you know, um, yeah. So there's action. This is a big move on Boeing again today. That's yeah. You're in brand new territory for that company, man. As in, yeah. you know, 
you're well above. We had a high in June of, of that we just made it above actually as we speak. That high was 234.20. Um, so you're now within that steep slide, and really you just got to make it back to um, 315 was where we were in Boeing prior to COVID, give yeah. or take. So you're, you're, you know, we were just at 150 to start November. The month of November, man, is going to go down in history, as yes. it should. It is. Not a, you know, we, we all were anticipating we would get great vaccine news. I talked about it in my program. Um, we got we to gotta stay safe, folks. I mean, we had record hospitalizations, record deaths yesterday. Um, but there's light at the end of the tunnel, and it's only six months away. So there we go. I don't know. Stay right there, folks. We've got Think of Swim coming up next. And I'm Mr. Basil Chapman riding that wave. Steve Rhodes, Dave Wright. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Yeah, look at him, folks.